Hey, today I want to tell you exactly how shooting three simple videos a week has made us seven figures in the last year without any ads. Hey, I'm Ken. I used to be a homicide detective. I was a cop for over 15 years and I got sick of it. When I found out I was going to become a dad, I needed to make a change. In the last 15 years, I've started four different businesses in four different industries and they've made a lot of money. This channel is dedicated to showing people exactly how to build an eight figure coaching business. Every single part of it. I love teaching people how to write books, how to get your books traditionally published, how to turn those books into seven figure coaching businesses. And you're going to find all that information right here. All right, friends, welcome back today. I want to continue in this series with you on how to actually build a following organically that can create seven figures for you. And I realize that probably one of the most important pieces to the puzzle for anybody is how to repurpose content. So I want to talk to you all about my production repurposing strategy so you can get it and implement it really quickly. Um, bottom line is, if you try to build your business one way, that one way you're going to build it is a road to failure. Um, the secret to building a seven or an eight figure business, if you take a look at anybody that's playing at the highest level, you're going to see that there's a strategy built between organic marketing and advertising or paid marketing. And you've got to get revenue coming in first organically before you get into advertising. Going the other way around is just a recipe for disaster. And I know that should be a big relief to a lot of people that follow this show because just getting started, the idea of running ads can be super overwhelming and why do it if you don't have to right up front, right? So the way we make a significant amount of money in our business is just by publishing content. And that's what really everybody has to get into is publishing content. You've got to realize that that's got to be a big part of the game. Why? It's really simple. The world online is so advanced today that everybody's online. And that means all of your future clients and customers are online and all of your competitors are online too. And what we've all realized in this digital marketing game is that if you really want to win customers and clients, you've got to give people a chance to get to know you first without expecting they're going to buy anything from you or expecting you're going to get anything in return. The right way to do that is to create a publishing schedule. Now, when it comes to publishing content, YouTube is always going to be the center of the hub for me. And I'll tell you why. When you're recording videos, if you get in the habit of doing educational videos, like the one you're watching right now, and you put them into YouTube, always remember they need to be at least 10 minutes long. And if you get in the habit of doing that regularly, YouTube will reward you. The more consistent that YouTube sees that you're being actually recording and publishing videos, the more they're going to show your videos to other people, which means the more subscribers you're going to get. And when you get to that magic number, a thousand subscribers and at least four, is it four hours or 40 hours? I think it's 40 hours of videos watched. YouTube's going to start sharing revenue with you. So it's another whole income stream if you take YouTube seriously. And that's my biggest reason why it's got to be the center of the universe. So um, the part of the content that you need to create and get in the habit of doing it is live video or is video in general to shoot lots of videos and get, you know, comfortable and familiar with doing them. And if you if you're feeling overwhelmed by doing that, just go back to the YouTube channel and look at other videos. There's videos there on how to how to get comfortable shooting videos on how to get into the routine of shooting videos, um, how to come up with the content that you need, because a lot of people tell me that. They'd love to get in the habit of doing videos regularly. They just don't know what to say. Well, there's a video on how to create a content schedule. Everything you need to do at what I'm telling you is on that YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel too. But what I want to talk to you today about is my repurposing strategy. Because um, frankly speaking, I, I love creating content. I love giving you the chance to get to know me. Uh, and I don't want you to buy anything from me, any of my courses or programs, or even come to our writing weekend unless, unless you already have confidence I'm the person you're looking for. So that means I got to get in the habit of doing video, but video is only good for about 40% of people. About 30% of people would rather read 
something than watch a video on it. And about 40% of people would rather listen than watch a video. So that means part of any really serious content publishing strategy needs to be a blog and podcasts, right? Then in addition to that, um, giving people bite-sized morsels, so getting into social media posting, so where you're posting still pictures and memes and quotes from your work, you're giving people a chance to really get bite-sized morsels of what you have to offer, and that subconsciously is going to do really well for them. But if you think about it, now we're getting overwhelming, right? We're talking about a blog, we're talking about a podcast, we're talking about a YouTube channel and posting on LinkedIn and Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. I mean, holy Mackinac, can that ever be overwhelming? All you have to do is go back to the last video. If you're feeling overwhelmed by that, go back to the last video before this one on YouTube and check out that video that there's a picture of my two virtual assistants. Check that out. It'll freaking blow your minds because they do all of the work. The fact of the matter is, if you have virtual assistants involved in your business, well, here's what I do in my business. I shoot three videos a week and I give those videos to my virtual assistants. Basically, I created a Google Drive folder and every time I do a video, I create a new subfolder in the folder and I say I give them the number of the video. I so I say the next video I'm going to do is like V50. So that's the 50th video for 2022. So the title is V50 2022, a colon, and then the name of the video. So I put the video into that folder and I put the notes I want to go along with that video in that folder. And I just tell my virtual assistant it's ready. They, if, if you're, listen, in the notes here, I'll put a link to my podcast and I'll put a link to my blog and um, my Facebook page. And what I want you to do is look at each of these pages Notice how similar the content is. If you go to my blog today, right now, you're gonna find a blog, or sorry, a blog article that's written based on this video. More importantly, if you click on the podcast link right now and you go to my podcast and check it out, you're gonna notice there's a podcast episode titled exactly the same thing. So I'm putting podcast episodes out three to four times a week. Then when you go to my Facebook page, take a look at all those posts and you'll notice the things that we've turned into memes, which are quotes of me in posts, they get all that from my videos, from little things I say in my videos. So doing three videos a week is a key to your success. What we've measured in our business in the last three months, we're averaging, like in the last three months, there's 300 grand in revenue that's come in just because of our organic social media posting. All of the organic social media posting we're doing is repurposed from three videos a week. It's freaking crazy. Hey, listen, um, shorter show today. But if you want to see this strategy in detail, then for gosh sakes, click on that link in the notes. You can see in the notes with this video or with this podcast show, it says, if you want to see the entire content loop strategy laid out, then check out my masterclass, kendun.com forward slash live content. In that masterclass, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you the platforms that I use. I'm going to show you the tools that I'm going to use. I'm going to show you where I got my virtual assistant from. I'm going to show you how the whole thing is set up. And I'm even going to show you my bank account so you can see the money. Last thing. I've had a lot of people asking me lately. Um, they, they've gone through the content structuring video that I created, the show that I created that shows you how to create a content calendar. And most people, when they create a content calendar, they're creating topics for about 100 different videos. And a lot of people have been asking me lately, what do I do when I run out of videos, when I go through the whole content calendar? Two things I'm going to tell you. Number one, go back and do it again. Because every time you do a video, you're going to change the name of the video and you're going to say things that are different because you're doing it in real time, just like I'm doing with you. Second thing, when you've got 100 videos on your YouTube channel, go back and look at all the videos and see which one's got the most views. Those are the videos that people liked the most, the topics that people were most interested in, and do more videos just like that. It's really that simple. 
If you subscribe to that YouTube channel, you're going to learn everything I know about writing books, selling books, building a following, creating an entire seven-figure coaching business. So send, I've shot a lot of information at you quickly today. I hope this helps you in your journey. And hey, man, if, if you get anything good out of this stuff, then do me a favor and share the YouTube channel with everybody else. We'll see you soon.